Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Benefit Roller Lash. I've had this for a little bit now and I really wanted to use it a lot since I knew I'd probably do like a dedicated video to it since it's one of those new benefit products. You know, it's a little hyped up everywhere you go that sells it. You know, there's like big displays and it's just something that makes a lot of claims. So, um, so I thought it would be fun to review because I'm a mascara junkie. And so when I saw this, I was very, very excited. Some of my favorite mascaras long before my YouTube days in the past have been curling formulas. There was a L'Oreal formula years ago that I loved. And so um, I've been waiting to find one that is that is good that I can notice a difference with. Now I have um, longer lashes that have a natural curl to them anyway, but that being said, you can still tell if it does more or if it does, you know, you can tell. It's so like I said, I do not curl them anyways, but they could use a little more. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very retro, very 50s, um, like beauty salon, you know, all that hair curler goodness. Um, it's called Roller Lash Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. And then this is what the tube looks like. And it's got like a rubbery, looks like a roller on the end. I get my head out of the way because it keeps focusing on my eyes. <laughs> um, but this is what the tube looks like. And it's very rubbery right here. The wand looks like this. It has a little bit of a curve to it, which I love for multiple reasons. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But it is one of those wands that has the rubbery bristles, but the bristles are very short. On the bottom curve, the bristles are shorter than they are on the top. Now they say that it has like a hook and curl, hook, hook and roll concept about it, so I was kind of nervous about that. I thought that it was gonna be kind of like Velcro-y, you know, like it was gonna have like a little, like maybe the brush would have something that like grabbed your lashes. They don't, they're, they're actually um, just straight bristles, which is good, I think that would have freaked me out. But I think it's just the way that the brush is designed. So on the bottom, like I said, it's got those curved um, little bristles. And something great about this, from the first moment that I looked at this, that I put it to my eye, is that it's not one of those huge rubbery bristles. Um, it's actually quite small, which I like. It's very um, realistic as to the size of your eye. So I like that the curve follows the exact, almost, curve of my natural um, eye curve. So what I love about this is that you can get it so close to your um, base of your lashes, which starts the whole lift thing. Um, so that's going to provide some lift. So I always just start by wiggling it very, very close. You can even sort of rock it down a little bit to where the, um, the lighter or the um, shorter bristles are. And it just really gets into all of the crevices right there. Whereas a lot of brushes that are this rubbery bristled brush type, um, you can't do that. Even like the CoverGirl Lash Blast, very good, it's one of my favorites. And I, you learn how to do it, but um, if you've ever gotten it where it pokes you or if you're trying to do that, like get it really close and it pokes your waterline or it hurts, it really hurts. This is kind of impossible to do that with. So I love that you can really get it close, which is essential for getting that first like lift and curl. And then you sort of just bring it up and um, and I like it. I like the, how it's shaped this way so you can really get it in. And then the longer ones, of course, you can run through the lengths of your lashes and you kind of get it on the end. Now, the brush is also, to me, just awesome for the lower lash line too because, um, as you can see, it's very small. It follows that perfectly. The bristles are super short, so you're not going to do anything crazy. It's just perfect to me. Um, now that I have more than the other. Um, but it's it's a very, very good brush, and I don't have anything else that has a brush like this. Even There's tons of mascaras that have curved brushes, but this one I really, really love. The formula is great. It's very thick. It's very black. It's, it transfers really well onto your, not transfers, like onto your skin. Uh, I haven't had any issues with that or flaking or anything, but I haven't had any issues. It's, it's just a very good, solid mascara comparable to some of my very favorites. Um, but like I said, the formula is very similar to the Chanel Volume to Chanel, if you're familiar with that. It's one of those formulas that transfers to from the wand to your lashes very easily. Um, it looks very dramatic, which I like that. I used to really be into more like softer, drier formulas, but lately I've really liked ones that transfer a lot more um, because you just have to work with them less and they just give you a really fun look. So um, really like that gives you length, it gives you volume, gives you some separation. So I think where the curling and the lifting and everything comes from is the brush. 
it says that the formula is designed to set a curl for 12 hours. It may have to do with the fact that it dries quickly or, you know, it just holds the lashes well, um, holds the curl. Now, does the formula curl your lashes? I don't know. I wouldn't say that it does because I think it's more of the wand and the way that you apply it like I showed you. Start with the base and sort of push up and then as you kind of run it through the lengths of your lashes, you can kind of push, you know, the ends back a little to curl them. Um, I remember that formula that I talked about in the past that I loved when I was in high school and college. It was some sort of L'Oreal formula that curled, and I remember the formula itself, as it dried, it constricted, so it curled your lashes. I have not been able to find a formula comparable to that ever, and it was really crazy, like you could really see a difference. Of course, they don't make that anymore because it was good, and they always discontinue the good stuff, right? So I don't know. I they're not really saying that the formula is a curling formula like that. They're more saying that the brush brush bristles are designed to sort of grab your lashes. Um, like I said, they look like straight bristles, but the way the bristles are on the brush, like the shorter ones, the longer ones, the way that they're facing, it does pick your lashes up and it kind of helps them glide through the brush. And then the formula actually sets it like it's gonna dry and keep it, it's gonna keep it curled. Um, do I find that it looks great? Yeah, it looks great. If they look lifted, I can tell that they're, um, you know, they don't look straight by any means, but I can definitely see them a lot. So I'm saying that, yeah, it does make a difference and the brush is what makes a difference. The formula is an awesome, awesome formula. Is it a curling formula? No, and I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't think that's what they're saying it is. It's just a formula that will set the curls from the brush and everything. Um, is it worth trying? Yes, I really like it. And I think this would definitely be something that I would try again because after using this for a while now, when I go to something else, even something great that I absolutely love, um, I miss that brush. That is a good, good brush. I just wish a company would do that curling formula. Just like that. It does this. That would be awesome. But, um, but nothing that I'm disappointed with in this because this is a great, great solid mascara and I would definitely recommend it because, again, that brush is just really unique and I love it. So um, I hope that that helps you guys. It is $24. It's available at Sephora, Ulta, uh, Benefit Anywhere benefit counters, anywhere where you can find it, but I will link to it below so that you can read a little more about it on Sephora.com because I know that usually that's where I go to read reviews. Um, usually that's where I can find the most info on a product from the ingredients to like how to use all the stuff that they have. So um, that will be listed below. I hope that y'all like the video and that you got a little more insight in this if you were curious about it. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.